friend. This is Jamie at FromHisPresence.com. Thanks so much for tuning in again today for another video in my series, God in the Wild. Hey, we have some footage to show you from our recent trip to Yellowstone National Park and other parks in the western part of the United States of America. Today, I want to talk to you about bison, one of my favorite animals, my son's favorite animal ever. Some people, of course, call it the buffalo, but we'll call it the bison, the American bison. And there are loads of them in Yellowstone National Park, thousands of them. And there are quite a few in other parks in the western United States as well. But in Yellowstone, you will notice that there are herds of bison that do number in the thousands, particularly in the Lamar Valley. Now, there are some around Yellowstone and the Old Faithful area as well and other places. They just roam. But those large herds in the Lamar Valley in the northeast corner are definitely worth your time. And these herds number in the thousands. What's my point? Why well, do I want to talk to you about this today? Well, because you can see God's spiritual principles in the natural world. And the principle I want to talk to you about today regarding bison is the fact that we need community. Now, I don't think that we all have to be a herd in the manner of everybody being just like somebody else or copying or emulating a person. We don't need that. But we do need to emulate Jesus and we do need community where we are gathered together doing life in the body of Christ with one another, all seeking Jesus together. And bison need community. They live in community. Now, you do occasionally find those bison who are off on the road all by themselves, no herd anywhere to be seen. But you know what? Those bison are vulnerable. Why? Because there are wolves in Yellowstone, particularly if you're in the Lamar Valley. You can go up the Slough Creek Road, and on the side of the hill there are uh, wolf dens, and there are usually wolf watchers there by the road with their spotting scopes and their uh, all manner of photography equipment. I call them Homo sapiens photographicus, when you can uh, distinguish that kind of person by the fact that they are hunched over the back of a tripod. And uh, you can find lines and lines of people watching the wolves there in the Lamar Valley on Slough Creek Road. But you know what? Um, those wolves, uh, they stay a good distance away from them. Why? Because they are an apex predator. And those apex predators have no enemies but are themselves the enemy. And they go after elk and they go after bison and other animals as well. But you know what? When a bison wanders off and he's all by himself, he is vulnerable. He doesn't have the herd to help protect him. Now, he still has his sharp hooves and he still has his strength and he still has his horns that he can use to gore with or fight with but he does not have the protection and the might of the herd. And when the bison stay in the herd and the wolves come after them, they are better able to fight and defend themselves. When they're all by themselves though, meh, a lot of the times those apex predators are going to have a nice bison burger for dinner. Well, what's the point? Why am I talking to you about this today? Well, it's because Proverbs 18.1 says, a man who isolates himself seeks his own desire. He rages against all wise judgment. You know, I think there are secular songs about how we need each other and we are not an island. And you know what? The Bible affirms this. You are not an island. No matter what your personality is, no matter what your background is, no matter what your experience is, you need other human beings. Now, I'm not here to say that you have to run with everybody. All personalities don't work together well. It's you need people to run with that are of like faith, like destiny, like anointing, like spirit. Not everybody is going to be of like faith, like spirit, like anointing, like destiny. But there are people who will be. There are people who will share your heart. There are people who will love God like you love God. There are people who will be in the same position in life, wanting to grow just like you're wanting to grow. There are people who have been through what you've been through. And the Bible says a man who isolates himself seeks his own desire. In other words, if you're isolating yourself, keeping yourself away from other people, you're not seeking God's desire. You're not seeking God's will. You're not seeking holiness. No, you're seeking self. You are idolizing yourself, setting yourself on a pedestal to say that your preference to be by yourself is actually more important than God's will for you. And my friend, that's a place of danger. And that's a place where the enemy, the apex predator, who is not stronger than God, but who is often stronger than your flesh, will come against you. And you know what? Too often the enemy wins if you're by yourself. 
But when you hide in community, when you hide in the secret place of the Most High with the Lord, and then you find other believers who love God to do life with them, then you have defense. You have people that can pray with you. You have people that can hug your neck when you cry. You have people who will lift you up and and pray for you, even when you don't know they're praying for you. You have people who will encourage you when things are hard. You have people who will show up at that hospital room when you're sick or when your family members are sick. You need a local church, my friend. This is where you find the people who are like that. You can't go down to the bar and hope to find a, a kindred spirit friend. You can't go just go to the workplace and find somebody who's not even saved and they're fun, they're a good time and say, you're my new covenant friend. No, my friend, you have to find somebody of the same heart, somebody who loves God so that the God in you bears witness with the God in them that you're called to run together at this point in your life. And you know what? When you find that herd of people like that, when you find that Sunday school class, that life group, that small group, that Bible study, that church, when you find those friends, you need to stick with them and be loyal. Loyalty doesn't mean you worship them. It doesn't mean that everything they do is perfect. But you know what? It means you're in relationship and it means you're doing life together, knowing that nobody's perfect, but you're all on an upward journey from glory to glory, faith to faith and strength to strength. And when you're in that place, that's where you find herd immunity from the attacks of the enemy. That's where you find strength. It's where you find uh, group wisdom. The Bible says there's wisdom and a multitude of counselors. So many benefits are found in that life of community. So I want to encourage you today, my friend, take a lesson from the bison. I do love bison. I love a good bison jam, which is, of course, when there's a traffic jam caused by the bison walking down the street. Check out those bison today if you're in the park or if you're just watching the video and Compare that to yourself. Are you in community? Are you in that herd? Are you benefiting from the strength of the herd? Or are you one of those lone ranger bison out there subject to the predators? I want to encourage you today. Find community. Get with like-minded believers and do life together with them. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Jamie Rohrbaugh from hispresence.com. Check us out at the next video, God in the Wild, and we'll see you then.